Today I want to show you how to lubricate your Blickman Riptide Brewing Pump. This is a great pump. It's very easy to use and it rarely cavitates. You can get the repair kit for this pump from morebeer.com. I have one right here. I'm going to use this Hanes Lubrifilm Plus to lubricate my pump today. It's a sanitary lubricant that I use around the kitchen on the mixers and such. And It'll work fine to lubricate our valves and seals on our pump. I'll put some in my clean kitchen pan here that I sanitized. And I have a couple small sanitized screwdrivers in my pan here too. I'll start by loosening up this flow control valve and removing the safety pin, opening it up all the way and giving it a firm tug. Grab it and pull. Now it's open. We'll take our screwdriver and get a little lubricant and put it right on the seals. Use your finger, run it around, and shove that straight back in where it came from. Give it a couple of twists and start looking for the spot where it'll have a groove and solid and then a groove. That's where the retaining clip goes. And to put the clip back in, just put it right there on the two grooves and push down like this. Turn it all the way back in and we can move on to lubricating our cavitation prevention valve. We'll take our screwdriver and apply a little lubricant to the bottom of this piece and smear it around with our finger. And we'll put it right back in there. When we open up the pump head itself, we want to be very careful not to lose this tiny washer. So we'll start by opening up the clamp, and then we'll turn the pump completely vertical. Now, you want to grab the entire pump assembly, all of it, just like that and take it over to pan so you don't lose anything. Now you can remove that cover, the impeller, and get at this seal. The seal pops right out pretty easy. And we'll just grab some lubricant from our kitchen pan, spin the seal around three or four times, making sure that the seal is clean and doesn't contain any dirt or residue from previous brew sessions. It should be elastic. And we will put it right back into pump head on the racetrack and it presses right back into place easily. Just line it up and push. Now, this tiny washer, we'll put some lube on that and put it on the spindle. Then we grab the impeller. A little cover and then we mate that back up with the pump body and grab our clamp. When we install the clamp we need to be careful that we don't block access to our cavitation prevention valve. So you want to flip that valve ring up so you'll be able to pull it when you're brewing. So you can hold it with your thumb like that and then just go ahead and Set that clamp seal at the bottom and close up the ring and tighten the nut. By keeping that ring up, I'll be able to pull my cavitation prevention valve if I need to, and I won't be blocked by the nut on the clamp. 